Hello again. In this section, we are going to uh, give a brief intro about the most important section called the IPD, the inpatient department. In inpatient department, you'll find the admission first, and this is the first and foremost step admission. When we click on admission, when we click on admission, we get admission tab, clinic notes, and advanced payment tab. In admission tab there is a checkbox you can see OPD if OPD this suggests that if a patient from OPD department outpatient department has been suggested and prescribed to being admitted in the hospital then we simply uh, check in and select his patient ID and all that information comes over here uh, and if it's a completely new patient that has been admitted um, then all his details is patient information, guardian information, room details, who is going to be consulting doctor, what his preliminary diagnosis are, uh, details are being fetched here. Then there is a clinical notes, his present complaints, previous ongoing medications, past history, family history, condition or admission, notes and remarks, all those details are uh, keyed in here. And if the patient is going to make any um, advance payment, those advance payment details are saved over here. Now after uh, admission, there is a IPD chart. Uh, this is uh, for the doctors, the the regular visitors, whosoever visits uh, the patient regularly. And now uh, the patient who visits, he selects his uh, his name. Doctor's uh, name is selected, and then uh, he the time, the time of the visit, the date of the visit, uh, what what description and doctor feels is. Uh, is what about are the conditions of the patient at that point of time what the doctor's diagnosis is what is the status of the patient whether uh, whether a patient is recovering fast or recovering slow or, or whatever details are all those are saved over here then if the doctor prescribes any medicines those all details are uh, saved here then if the doctor feels in there are any pathological or medical or any kind of test to be uh, to be conducted and uh, prescribed to the patient all those details are saved here and then we have a, a discharge summary this is the form which is being used whenever the patient is discharged all those uh, details they are on examination investigation treatment given condition on discharge all those details are saved and managed from here uh, the hospital service charges medicine the, the charge details are also saved over here and and this is how IPD discharge is being managed and then we have a bill generation now this is a very automatic bill generation and we just we need to select the IPD uh, patient ID and the patient number and all his uh, charges uh, whatsoever have, has been uh, billed by the hospital the details uh, would would automatically get fetched in over here and then the receive payments mode will be uh, through this section Will be handled through this section and then and we have receive IPD payment all oh, right the, the, the uh, sometimes the patients do uh, make a payment in parts uh, first at the beginning and now if at some point of time we need to check how much has the patient uh, uh, the patient has paid uh, during his uh, his or her stay in the hospital all those details uh, will be uh, will be checked from here and then room information uh, which in which room which patient is there all those details can be fetched in from here and then sometimes we need to um, go for um, duplicate bills IPD bill list and from here if you want to print IPD bill discharge summary and discharge patient those functioning can be done from here then we have discharge patient list all those patients that have been discharged in a particular uh, particular time zone or uh, date wise we can s select those and get those list here then pending payments if we need to check uh, uh, with which patients there are pending payments and the pending payments are to be made though all those details can be uh, looked from here 
and this is all we have in IPD section. Thank you.